Mr. Lovell play. So the Malaysian nearest to us gets this men's singles final underway. Oh, it's landed in. Lovell. That's a good, good opening rally here. A little bit judgment error there, though. Sign of nerves, though, I think, probably, Steve. Yeah, definitely. Well, if he was suffering from nerves, he's got control of them fairly swiftly. Lovell. Because he, too, able to find the line. Steve, we know about both these players' paths through to today's final, but perhaps what is surprising is that Chen Hong has struggled in several of his matches, and in fact has played a total of 5 hours 27 minutes of world-class badminton to get through to this final, whereas his Malaysian opponent has played just short of 4 hours. Now, do you think that extra, basically, hour and a half of tough competition is going to take its toll for today's final? I don't think so. Uh, I think he really wants to retain this title. I mean, he played yesterday very well. We thought he was getting a bit tired yesterday. He came through the second set extremely well. Uh, I don't think the fitness levels will tell in this match. Of course, these two players have met each other three times previously. And it's perhaps a little bit of a surprise that it's the Malaysian that holds the advantage, having won two of those previous three encounters. Just wide. Two, love. does not like the call. Service over, love, two. Oh, goodness, difficult to tell. Trying to jockey in position with each other here. Unfortunately, Chen Hong going for maybe too tight a shot there. Pushed it wide. Three, one. from side to side in the final angle shot played across court to perfection you can see here the power of Chen Hong gets up drills it down the line so accurate
slight hesitation, I think, there from Hashim. Four, one. Perhaps thought that it might be going long. Yes, immediately look back towards the line. Players often do that to get their spatial awareness. Five, one. It wasn't so much the error that caused that, that shot there, it was deception of Chen Han. Well, we wondered after the first couple of rallies whether Hashim was a little bit nervous. Certainly needs to get into this opening game. We remember back to the semi-final yesterday between Chen Hong and Hafiz, his older brother Rashim. And uh, I think there was a six-love advantage there to the Chinese player. Yeah, there was, and he did come out firing in that match and then got caught a little at six all. Today, Chen Hong seems to be a little bit more patient, taking his time, only hitting hard shots when he's got that chance. Three, six. Good deception from the Malaysian there. Caught Chen Hong playing the back end, lifted it short. Great deceptive smash down the line. Chen Hong, last year probably one of the most consistent players in the world. Three titles. Of course, the All England, but also the Singapore and the Danish Open. And of course, he was runner up in two other major competitions as well, the China Open and the Indonesian, so he really did have a fantastic year. What's quite noticeable here about Chen Hong is yesterday he tends to place all his smashes cross-court and Hashim got them all back yesterday. Uh, now he's gone for the straight one. Maybe they thought that Chen Hong would always go across. Seven, three. Again, Chen Hong. I think here in this big arena is a little little swirl in the air and sometimes you can miss hit the shuttle. I think there, Chen Hong. Miss hit. That is a perfect cross court net shot. Four, eight. aggressive play from Chen Hong. Yeah, and you can see again the straight Nine, smash four. is the winner for him. It's a good change up of tactics from yesterday by Chen Hong, and he's catching the Malaysian.
the fast flat exchange and the Malaysian coming off the better Turning to play the backhand, but he really tries to take that so late, Steve. Yeah, he's playing one good point, but it's immediate followed by a very quick error, and he can't settle at the moment. That's better. Made the effort to lunge forward to the net. Rack it out, stretch to make the kill. Just wide. Five, ten. Chen Hong likes to go for his shots here. Went for it just out though. That's wide. Yes, Steve, just picking up on that point, of course, Chen Hong is a very adventurous player. He's, he loves to attack, he loves to go for his shots, and of course that's why he used to love playing to the old scoring system, or the experimental scoring system, of best of five games to seven points. Yes, that's right. But he's got the fitness level, he can play to 15. What I like about Chen Hong, he does go for his shots, but he doesn't get too anxious when he misses them. He'll continue with them. He has real belief in his power play. Oh, all good. Ten, five. Yeah, plum on the line. does not like the call on that back line. Oof. I would have called that out. Fine, I would agree, Jill. just turns the wrist in the last moment changes the racket head angle onto the shutter great shot plenty of Malaysian support here in Birmingham Attacking shot here by Hashim. Straight after the point, clenched fist. He knows he's back in this match. Oh, he's missed it. And that has to go down as a bad miss. The lift was woefully short. Eight, Wonderful ten. opportunity. And he missed it. Okay, 
get himself into trouble really, the Malaysian, by trying to block the cross court. That's right. I mean, obviously it takes the shuttle a longer time to travel cross. Chen Hong, too quick there. Easy kill. Well, <laughs> I don't think Happles was going to miss that one. Actually hit his opponent with his winning smash. Just apologises for that. That's wonderful deception. That's the beauty of Chen Hong, he's, su he's such a power player that when he changes up to some soft play, catches his opponent who's expecting the smash. Oh, he's missed another one. Going for the reverse slice. That's well long with the back line. Nine, and now Hafiz Hashim. Just one point the deficit. Just feel there's a little bit casual on that shot there. Good chance at 9 10 to level it up, just fails with it. Well, very few players could have got behind the shuttle to even play the smash, let alone play it with such accuracy. point away well, if he's going to win this first set he's got to be concentrated these are big points from 10 to 15 is called yeah. long in the back of the court. Well, Change of tactic using the flick serve. It had the desired effect as far as Chen Hong is concerned. Not like he was going to play a hard shot here. Nine, Just took the pace 13. out of the shuttle. too much with it. I think so. I think he just had to play a straight block there. Chen Hong was at the back of the court and get a lift where he can use his deception. Lovely shots here. That's a very difficult cross court shot to play here. And then follow it up the backhand cross court. 
Back in the game, just couldn't do anything with that tight spinning net shot there. Possibly should have, after his low serve, should have looked for the net. Going for some points now. Chen Hong taking the shot behind him. Made it that shot very difficult indeed. shot immediately came forward to look for the net reply. Point. It's always a great shot in men's singles to sometimes play the smash down the middle because their opponents tend to, to choose one side or the other. One down the middle, always, if they get it, will always give a weak reply. by that far. 11, he was saying Steve he likes to go for his winners, likes to go for his shots, but that barely made the doubles line. That's right, and he has hit quite a lot of smashy straight and been very successful. Very, yesterday the cross smash was the one he always went for. Thought he would change it up a bit today. 14, Second game point for Chen Hong. Went a little bit too tight. That's wide. Fourteen eleven. So perhaps third time lucky. Third game point. because he's so explosive with his movement. I think this Malaysian is also one of the most deceptive players in the world. He's so relaxed in his style, his overhead racket movement always looks exactly the same. Whether it's playing a smash, a drop shot, or even a clear.
Lisbon Sadek, head coach to the Malaysian team, sitting on the left there. Of course, he was All England finalist back in 1986. Lost to Morton Frost. And on the right, Yak Kim Hock, who was working with the doubles well, players in Malaysia. Okay. Olympic silver medalist in men's doubles. Two great former Malaysian players. The trick shots actually pay dividends. his favourite cross court <laughs> now just the one point in it 13 14 14 the deficit at one stage. Chen Hong just indicates to the umpire that he wishes to set, so it'd be first player to 17 points. but as soon as Hashim got the opportunity he used his long arm, his long reach to let that show straight down the line Fairly lame defence there from Chen Hong 15, game point, 14 and so now it's the Malaysian that has a game point you believe it? What a wonderful open game. And Hashim, 17. Hafiz Hashim talking to Misbun Sadek in that 90 second interval and I really do think that they looked very buoyant indeed. This young man, just 20 years of age, well he doesn't give an awful lot away, always looks very calm on court. That's probably about as excited as he gets. Uh, so, what if he was to win this final? We might even see a bit more emotion. I find it absolutely extraordinary. The Malaysian has only ever won two titles. The Commonwealth Games last year, and then the Malaysian satellite event. He's never won a Grand Prix tournament, and here he is, one game up in an All England final. Rock. But Chen sticking to his game plan, smashing down, following in, hitting a winner. Great shot. Another trick shot from Kashim. Again, Chen going for the smash. He started the second set very quick indeed. Retrieving a sign perhaps of the commitment, a sign that he's a little bit cross at himself. 
for having lost that opening game from being in a win winning position. Four game points he held, but he failed to convert. on the top of the tape before going over that's a good attacking play there good by Chen Hong this time choosing the forehand and I really do think he gets more out of it when he attacks down the forehand he's getting some weaker replies will he stick with it though the fact that there is a slight drift in this arena and it would appear that it's the shuttle is flying faster towards the far end as we look down on the court a few misjudgments by both players on that back line Three, two. Switches the attack down to the cross court smash down his opponent's backhand side. This time, well in. Well, Chen Hong really is struggling with the deception of the Malaysian. Three, two. Chen Hong really getting up here. He's got to be a little tired, but still getting up just inside the line. Great shot. Finding the gap. Two, four. Pulled his opponent out of position. Here 
there, Che Hong playing attacking stuff, but very hesitant on the net. Trying to look for an angle, it wasn't there. Shuttle deflected by the net cord. National Indoor Arena here. I guess at least 4,000 people watching these All England Championship finals. That was great play there. A great spinning net shot from Chen Hong that got him the lift there. Good smash down the backhand side, followed it in immediately. Great reaction. First time in the rally, really, where Hashim has got onto that net for a quite a few points now. very early at the net here forces his opponent on the cross angle fortunately for Hashimi can't quite get there driving drive rally there for Hashim very powerful in his forearm just gets a shuttle over the head of Chen Hong there great shot getting louder and louder in favour of Hafiz Hashim. Oh, and I wonder if it's having its effect on Chen Hong. best Five. jumping up in the air and hitting the winners interesting thing is Steve is that he's really dictating the pace he's the one that's controlling the rallies and it's Chen Pong that's having to react so often 
It is. And it, it's all about pressure now. Chen Hong has to win this game. He's one set down, he has to find a way back. The luxury for Hashim is he's won the first set, so he just has to stick to his game plan. of reply looked for the net pushed it straight at Chen Hong until he got the weak one that he could put away well Steve I know you said at the start of the match that you didn't think that the tough five rounds that Chen Hong had played to get through to the final five and a half hours of competition you said that wouldn't take its toll I think Chen Hong is beginning to look fatigued yes he does look a little bit tired now Jill I thought because he was playing in the final he'd be up for it he'd be really looking for it but the disappointment of losing that first set I think that takes a little bit out of you as well so I think that has some effect losing that first set This is where the Malaysian must keep his nerve, keep to his game plan, because at the moment he is playing superbly well. He is now just four points from the title. And looking back over the previous champions, we have to go back 37 years to find the last Malaysian men's singles winner at the All England. But we must remember, Jill, that uh, Misbun Sadek did predict that one of his players would take this title. I'm sure, though, he didn't think this would be the player. Four Malaysian players in the quarterfinals of the men's singles. Well, they've all played well, the Malaysian team here. wanting to win this a yeah, lovely touch by both players here nice control Chen Hongo taking that chance just rolling over the wrist enabling the shuttle to go in a downward direction well he's won so many points where he's angled down a shot and immediately looked for the net reply time Chen Hong knowing that was able to get the shovel over his head oh he's missed it well he was always on the attack here had the opening had to finish it off just missed it maybe a little bit of nerves creeping in he's close to the title Steve, I think as far as the Malaysian is concerned, the closeness of this title he has to put out of his mind and he really has to have the courage to keep doing what he has been doing in this second game. Indeed, he's got to keep pushing on now, this is a crucial time for him, can't be hesitant, as soon as he goes hesitant he makes an error. That's positive. 
very positive sign there for him. That will give him a lot of confidence. Seven over, 11 eight. Very quick racket hit action on that shot. Just turning the racket last minute, cross court shot, great. Wonderful block, just steering the shuttle into the opening space. points from the title. full of nerves in that rally so anxious to try and finish it off what can the champion do now oh. that is fast onto the net from Hashim my word Get off the top of the tape. perfection and how the Malaysian on the verge of victory it's match point The shuttle would go long at the back line. And from that moment on, he was in trouble in the rally. what he's got to do keep Hashim away from that mid to forecourt area interesting Hashim wanted to tell down the umpire said no you can't you've got to play on oh it's landed long oh it was only long by a whisker and this time Phil James the umpire does indeed allow the players to tell down. My goodness, what must be going through his head at the moment. Match point. 
points once more.